Welcome back YouTube, episode five. Didn't have time to do the beginning of episode five, but what better spot to do it than on the beach? Son of a gun. Oh yeah. Last week we installed the GY6 in the ruckus. This week we're installing the wiring harness. This will be the final episode. So enjoy this sucker. I appreciate everybody that's watched up to this point. Definitely appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, click the little button in the right hand corner. Don't forget to hit the blue bell that's right on the side to be notified when new videos come out. But here it is, check this out. As you can see, we've got our uh, GY6 installed in this Honda Ruckus. And we have the stock wiring harness still in the Ruckus. Well, the good news is we have a sweet kit right here. This is a plug and play. This is the whole wiring harness kit right here. Plug and play GY6 adapter kit. All right, we're gonna start by removing the 10 millimeter bolts, holding the headlight on. So now you can just pull the headlight and let it hang. So there is a um, zip tie, factory zip tie here. There's a little, uh, a little button to pull to get this all released from your uh, panel. And then once that's done, you can kind of pull your uh, front bearing out of the way. Just like that, you can pull it off. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, you got your, your stock control here. You're gonna follow this wire from the stock right control. And it's gonna be this black plug right there. You're gonna want to get in there and unplug the black plug, just like this, okay? Then you're gonna grab your CDI coil combo and this is gonna mount right here, just like that. We're gonna mount it with a uh, double-sided tape or you can zip tie it on there. I'm just gonna set it there for now. You'll notice your, your factory plug here, red plug, and then this plug with a blue wire. That's gonna plug right in here, just like that. The ground cable will go right into the battery. This all goes to the front where I unplug that black plug, so I'm gonna run that to the front here. Now, you've got this plug. This is the, to the right control. Just simply plug it in, it's like this, like that. And then you've got the other end of the plug. It's kind of buried under here. This guy, that's gonna plug in right into there. Take this guy right here, run it over here because this is gonna attach to our starter solenoid. And then you've got green wire with a white stripe or a green wire with a yellow stripe. Pull that guy out of there, just like that. Plug that in here, just like this. Now, plug the, the one that, see all I'm doing is pulling that one out, now this one goes into the same slot that I just unplugged. Okay, we've got our starter solenoid here. Now plug this starter solenoid in just like this. Okay, now I'm gonna attach that. So here is our, uh, th this cable coming out of here. I'm just gonna loosen this like that and then screw that one right back in. Oop. Just like that. All right, and then I'm going to install this starter solenoid. I'm just zip tying it on so it doesn't go anywhere. Kind of out of the way. It's like that. Install that little short cable. And then that's gonna attach to our battery there. Probably have to spin this a bit to get this to mount right. And this is the way it should look when we're, you're done. And then we've got this big loom of cable here. This end with the, uh, the nut on it, that's gonna go down to the starter. Just unscrew your uh, starter solenoid here. This is the other end of it. 
Put that guy on. Angle it the right way. Okay. Sometimes you gotta bend the wire a little bit. Um, we've got the everything plugged in. The only thing we're lacking is uh, the uh, bat, this this black cable. We haven't installed that. Goes on this ground right here. So there we go. Everything is installed at the top. So now all we have to do is run our uh, red cable and spark plug cable down up underneath the gas tank. Real nice. Make sure that it's not binding up in any way. There's not any uh, anything that's going to wear through the wire when you do this. Then once you've ran your uh, your coil cable pack back, you can plug it into the engine there. Push it in until it clicks. That guy's ready to go. All right, and then you're gonna run your uh, your starter cable back here. Oops. Your red cable. Unscrew that. Mount it to your starter. That's Okay, and then take your stock um, green um, ground cable, move this stuff out of the way, and attach it right here, just like that. Here is your choke. That's gonna plug right into here, just like that. FYI, you won't be using this plug anymore. You can uh, do what you want with it, let it hang there. What we're going to do is just let it hang there and probably zip tie these right here. And then if you pull back your harness here, you're going to plug this guy. You can't get it wrong. There's only one plug that looks just like that. And then this guy right into there. That's it. And you can plug, you can shove this. There's going to be extra wires. You're not going to use those. That, that was for the uh, original motor. So I'm just going to slide this right back the way it was. And there's this factory little cable tie. Metal metal tie there. There we go. You can you can do it however you want as far as that goes. So here it is and it should simply start right up. If you turn the key on, you'll hear the fuel pump cycle. Just like that. Hold the brake or it won't work. Might take a minute for the gas to start going to the carburetor. Just like that. This is all with the adapter harness. We're using the, the factory uh, Honda um, charging system. lights are kind of hanging off the side, but you notice they get brighter and you rev it. tells us that the charging system works. Everything works just like factory. If I turn the kill switch off, it kills the engine. None of that reverse baloney like before. Also, you turn the key off, everything turns off. Bam! Plug and play GY6 adapter harness. There it is, ladies and gents. I really appreciate you guys subscribing following me, um, thank you. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing half the cool stuff. So thank you very much, I appreciate it. Someone's about to go to the moon, Jesus. <laughs>